Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens Weights and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of the Slow Tarot by Lacey Bryant. And you guys may not, uh, have uh, recognized this one because I uh, did a video. It was a VR to the Hermit's Cave of my 300th deck. Yes. <laughs> You guys, I have an insane amount of decks, and so this was actually that special deck, and I said, hey, I promise I'll do a review of it. So uh, here is my review. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box. You know, it was my uh, best friend who lives out in Belgium who uh, introduced me to this deck, actually, um, and she was like, you need to go check it out, and you know, it is in the United States, and I was like, oh, okay, so I'm um, so glad... Uh, that I did go check it out because I'm quite happy <laughs> with this deck. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it out of the box here. So again, nice sturdy box to um, protect your, your deck. All right, so I always tell people to take a look in the guidebook because even though if you're not a guidebook person, you know, uh, meaning you don't reference it uh, during your readings, it is good to see um, kind of how the deck came about, uh, where the artist or the creator was coming from in um, making the deck. Uh, so there's a little forward here by Drew Clark, uh, just kind of talking about how the deck came to be and how it really was a journey and it did take uh, a considerable amount of time uh, for it to eventually come to fruition. Um, so then after that, and there's a little bit of an introduction about the tarot and how to do readings. You know, of course, they're just suggestions. Um, and then it goes right into uh, the major and the minor arcana. Now, um, you'll notice that the uh, images that you see are not traditional images. And um, in the guidebook, it does say that there are quite a few Easter eggs, so to speak, uh, within each card. And that I love. You know, I think that the reason I have, you know, so many decks is because number one there's a lot of beautiful art out there so I consider myself a connoisseur of art <laughs> um, but also as just that um, you know because there there are so many interpretations of uh, let's say the system for, of RWS because there are different tarot systems out there RWS is not the only one um, that when an, an artist gives their own interpretation of what a certain card may mean, it to me widens your perspective and your vocabulary um, of that, of the meaning of that card. And so, you know, to me, it's like all these different decks, they just give me a different view, <laughs> like the hangman, <laughs> um, different perspective. And I think it just, uh, just adds so much more richness to my readings. Okay. So these are your um, basic tarot size. Let me just grab a different tarot deck just to make sure. Oh, yeah, that's standard tarot sides. I just wanted to double check. <laughs> okay, so uh, here are the back of the cards. And you'll see that it's done in a way that it um, would be beneficial for those who read with reversals. Uh, I do not, uh, but it doesn't mean that I don't read the inverse of the card. I just physically uh, <laughs> cannot read them upside down, meaning uh, I'm more of like an aesthetic. It's just an aesthetic thing, um, but, I, but I can read the, you know, the reversal, so to speak, of the card intuitively. Um, you notice it does have a rather nice linen finish, which is um, talking about the texture of the card. And a uh, linen finish also provides nice flexibility to the cards. Uh, for me, that's something that I love uh, so that the cards are neither too thin or too thick, but they will um, offer years of shuffleability. And yes, that is a word. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into this lovely deck. Here we go. Um, you guys can see it's just got some wonderful art. And it's like, you know, he's just chilling. <laughs> he's, just, he's just playing that string game, you know, people people do. Just the, the facial expressions, everything that's going on. You really have to 
look into what's what's going on in each of these cards okay so with the aces those are the only cards that are without borders And to me, that's, that's actually pretty cool because it's like non-binding, non-restrictive, you know, an ace is a, anything is possible. So even it, that in itself is, has meaning. And I think that's fantastic. I just like getting lost in these cards. Uh, this one is unique. Here we have like the mer unicorn, or not mer unicorn, but mer horse. Like, wow! Just the use of of color, of dark, of light, of expression, of things hidden in the shadows. And even things hiding, hiding in the right in front of us in the light is just, hmm, just adds so much dimension to a traditional meaning of that card. And there's so much diversity, not just, um, you know, racial diversity, but just diversity of, of meaning, you know? It's so lush. <laughs> so, you know, um, and oh my gosh, the devil card. Um, here's another one of those aces again, aces without borders. Um, If you are thinking about getting the slow tarot, be, get ready for quite the ride when it comes to readings. Um, I feel like this deck, at least for me personally, um, has been, oh, that has to be probably one of my favorite death cards of like all time. <laughs> um, you know, it's a heavy hitter, you know, um. I feel comforted when I do shadow work with this deck, um, that I don't feel attacked in any way, um, but I also feel it's not too light of a deck, like it's not going to be overly fluffy, um, so it's, it's, hmm, I don't want to say neutral either because it pushes you, but I don't think to the point where you'd be... Mm, feeling uneasy with with an answer another ace <laughs> the whole page of cups is so adorable I love that card behind the back. Interesting. And interesting that it's for the seven of coins, huh? Um, oh, I've also, okay, so I've been able to use this thus far with a variety of readings. So I don't feel like it's just for shadow work or it's just for this or that. I've done relationship readings. I've done some like inner guidance readings. I've done, um, past life readings with it. Like, um, yeah. So I, I have yet to come across a reading type where this deck hasn't been beneficial. And you notice too that there's uh, different border colorings depending on um, what the card is. So here you have these these 
almost like dark dark brown almost black borders for the major arcana um, for the swords you're going to have these gray borders this is like a bluish gray for the cups you know so on and so forth brown for your wands it's like a light brown or cop coppery color for your your coins And the lovers is interesting because there's like all this serenity and connection and their house is like literally on fire in the background like i said there's it's a lot of stuff okay uh so six of coins is our last card um so i'm gonna do a little shuffle shuffle and uh what i always do at the end of my deck reviews is i always do a reading with the cards so hey you not only get to see lots of lovely art if you're just here for the art eye candy or if you were here because you actually were thinking about getting the deck, um, but you also get a little reading too. So if it connects with you, hey, awesome sauce. I'm just gonna pull three cards and you get to kind of see how I read with it too. So that's fun. All right, so we have the Page of Swords. We have the Six of Coins. And we have a star. All right, so I'm actually going to bring this up here for you. Check that out. So good. So much energy coming through these cards. There, there's like a little kitty cat there. <laughs> our star card such turbulent waters but she's just all chill <laughs> okay so let's put it all together all right so I feel like um, you might be going in a new direction with something you know you might have uh this new idea that you're you're following through with and this is just a confirmation to continue following your inner guidance uh with this because it is going to be um fruitful in the end not necessarily for me um, in terms of money um but uh almost like a cup card you know uh, like an internal abundance and happiness um but yes you know maybe it could be you know materially um uh, fruitful for you, uh, whatever it is that you are, are going after. Actually, this is like a really fast message. And that's what I like about the slow tarot is it's the messages are almost contradictory to its name. <laughs> so it's like the messages come so fast with this deck, even though it's called the slow tarot. Um, so yes, uh, whatever, um, endeavor you are currently pursuing, whatever new idea, direction, um, that you're going in, please continue to do so. Please continue to follow your inner guidance um, because it is going to be uh, beneficial. It is going to be in your favor. And, you know, my personal opinion, uh, your gut knows what to do. Always follow your gut. Always, always. All right. So that is it from me, Spiritual Homies. I hope you dug this review. Uh, let me know if you have this deck or maybe you're thinking about getting this deck. So, you know, I I welcome any comments or questions you guys may have. And if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Not only do I have a plethora of readings, I have my room of body sprays, I have my salves, I have my travel witch altar pendants, ancestral altar pendants, rainbow bridge uh, altar pendants, and uh, many other things. But I also have 
my Wally's World Oracle. So yes, I created my own deck. I am an indie deck creator. That's my little Wally Wallito. Uh, and this uh, came to life May of last year with the help of our community. So it's community created and community funded. Um, and if you check up on my website, click on Leon Mystery School. That's right, I have my own mystery school. So definitely check that out. Uh, so it is myself uh, and five other wonderful instructors. Uh, we are welcoming um, a couple of other instructors later this year. Um, but you can learn everything from Mayan astrology to uh, learning to connect and program crystals, crystal healing, uh, merging science and the metaphysics, uh, you know, and spirituality. Um, there's tarot and past lives and working with the ancestors and uh, love spells. And there's just <laughs> so much going on. So please definitely check it out. Um, oh, and, you know, we we have a lot of other courses coming as well. So I'm really excited about that um, so like I said uh, you will oh you'll also recognize these wonderful teachers from here on YouTube as well and many of these teachers have also taught in the public education system as high school teachers college teachers you know so it's it's a lot of fun and I'm really honored to be in the presence of some really really awesome excellent and knowledgeable people um, and I have a newsletter as well it's free to sign up and I hit your inbox on the first of every month. That's the only time I uh, email you anything. But it has witchy DIYs, arts and crafts DIYs, decks that I'm using, channels that I'm watching, tea that I'm drinking, etc., etc. If that interests you, please go ahead and sign up. Uh, and if you want to throw a little love my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. And I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.